Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. I'm not going to do any work this weekend at all. So I am reviewing the market tonight, Friday night, and here we are. So let's take a look at it. It is strong. I hate to tell you people that think we're getting toppy, but we're not. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news for those of you that think we're toppy because we're not, all right? And nobody likes to short more than me. No one. So the fact is, if I thought that we were coming in, I'd definitely, definitely, definitely say it, but we're not. Let's just go over the situation. Market gapped up here, held, held and rallied, gapped up again. We didn't need to hold this gap in order to stay strong. It didn't matter that we broke it here, but by the way, in the fashion and form that we broke it, we lifted off top of the low and actually closed and held it. So the low of this bar here is 76.21. The close of this bar here is 76.42. Where did we come down to today? 27 and 21. Let's look at it on the 15 minute here. So if you look at the 15 minute chart, intraday today, it seemed bearish, but the reality is it was a slop city USA. It really, really was. It was such a sloppy, choppy day in the market. I can't remember the last day in the market that was so choppy, 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 choppy. Came in, rallying, tried to trigger lower, rallying, came in lower, closed. Very choppy, but the reality is we're still holding. And in fact, I just saw this now that we're holding this gap. So just confirms what I already was seeing. But now I just got the number revolution. And there it is. All of this counts. We came in here. It doesn't matter. We closed above it. Then we came in today and we held. This is all lifting this up. This is squeezing this 20 up. It's pulling him higher. And in doing so, we're getting ready to break higher. I don't know when it's going to happen. I didn't think it was going to be today, obviously, because we kind of were running out of steam here. But the reality is we are higher. It could be next week. So all of this kind of activity is a pull-in. Same thing here, but it's very taily. These tails are bullish. Every time the market comes down, it gets bought. Every time the market comes down, it gets bought. Every time the market comes down, it gets bought. Every time the market gets down, it holds. It holds. It holds. It gets bought. It gets spotted, it gets spotted, it gets spotted, it holds, it gets gaps up, it rallies, it rallies, it tries to come down but can't, it holds, it gets spotted, it holds, it gets spotted, it holds. This is every single solitary day is bullish activity in the market. We're higher. Let's just look in the bigger, bigger, bigger time frame here to really see where we're going next. I really haven't looked at that in depthly. And I may have to really Go back like a million years to find it. All right, so where are we now? 76.49. So I think the area we were at was around 77 ish here. Wait. So we're going to push up to here next. Okay, do you see this area here? This is the next area we're going to push up to, about 79 ish. And then we'll see what happens. If we get over 79, we're going to blow. I mean, the market's just going to blow higher this year with nothing stopping it. We'll have to see how we act in there. The only possibility for a pull-in would be here. Outside of that, we're just going to keep rallying. Strange rally as it is, it's still a rally nonetheless. Here's where we, here's where we need to look at. This area of congestion right in here. It's basically between 78 and really 80-ish. It's like a $2 squish of an area here that it really if we get over the 80 area we're going to we're going to just go crazy 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 high you know higher in the market so we'll see we'll really see what it's going to do very interesting so market is higher until otherwise noted at least till around that area around 80ish or so and then we'll see how we act if we rally hard over 80 we're just there's nothing stopping the market this rest of the year We'll have to see what happens, but we're not toppy here. Uh, you know, the market keeps getting bought. It can't come in at all. It tries to come in, and then it holds. You know, if it comes in, it comes in for a brief period, and then it holds. So really, if you're in long-term core longs, you're getting paid. Uh, you may be concerned or doing some profit-taking, but we're still higher here the way I see everything. 
holding the gaps beautifully, just amazingly well. So this is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next Gap class is next weekend, August 17th and 18th. If you'd like more information or to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.